What's going on YouTube and welcome back to Ripples. Hope you're enjoying this series so far. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It would really, really help me out and I really appreciate it. Let's jump right back into it. Alrighty, at the end, end of the last episode, we're sitting in the park and we're waiting for Jenny and Chloe to show up so you can say goodbye to them before we attempt, attempt to get back home. Let's see what happens. Hello, Mr. Pervert. Hello, Miss Pervert. So, you said you're going to try to get back home? Yeah, I'm going to try. Well, I hope everything works out and you can sleep in your own bed tonight. I hope so too. Are you going to come back and visit once in a while? Not sure how to respond to that. Who knows what the future holds for me? I'll just give a vague answer. It probably doesn't matter anyways. Anything is possible. We'll just have to see. If you ask me, I would say that you definitely should come back for a visit. Yeah, let me know next time you're in town. I would love to hang out again sometime. That sounds good. If I'm in the area, I'll be sure to get in touch. Love that ringtone. Hold on a second. Tiffany's calling me. Ringtones in the 90s are terrible. No, they weren't, Jack. Shut up. Hey, sissy. Not much. Just hanging out at the park, then heading back to class. Hi, Tiffany. That's Chloe. She said hi. Hey, girl. He did what? Just ignore him. He'll get over it. What are you doing right now? Oh, okay. The cops? Who are they looking for? Huh, that's weird. What kind of idiot would do that? <laughs> yeah, I know. Boring. Hey, what time is it? I'm not sure. Hold on, let me check. Reach into your pocket to grab your phone, and the necklace falls out. Oh, what do we got here? Some girl accidentally dropped it at your college, and I was holding on to it in case I saw her again. I like it. It's pretty. Do you know what kind of crystal this is? I have no idea. Huh. Jenny's sister Tiffany would know. She's into that sort of stuff, and kind of a closet hippie. Hey, want to make me a very, very happy girl and let me keep it? I will take full responsibility if someone comes asking for it. I don't know. I was going to give it back to the girl that dropped it. Didn't you say you were going back to Winden? How are you going to give it back to her? He's right. If I'm not able to get back to the future, it would be nice to give, be able to give it back to her. It could mean a lot to her. And maybe it's a fair family heirloom. Ooh, I think this would change the future. Let's give it to her, though. You know what? You're right. Go ahead and keep it. But if a redhead ever sees you wearing it and asks you about it, you should give it back. A redhead, you say? I might know who that is. If she asks for it, I might give it back, depending on who it is. Okay, thanks. So how do you feel about Jenny? You made quite an impression on her. She likes you a lot. Chloe. Tiffany, I need to go. Okay, bye. What? Never mind. What's Tiffany up to? She's at work right now. She's telling me the cops are just there. What happened? Oh, don't worry, she's fine. She's just telling me some guy came in there this morning and used counterfeit money. She wasn't there at the time, but her coworker was, and she had to give the cops a description because the cameras weren't working. Wait a second. Ha <laughs> ha! Yep, I uh, thought so. And get this, the guy paid with money that had the year 2017 on it. What an idiot, right? 2017? Why would you make counterfeit money with that year on it? I have no clue. Oh shit, they are talking about me. <laughs> yep, thought so. I'm such an idiot. I didn't even think about that. Fuck. She also said that the girl worked the morning shift got fired because the bills were so clearly counterfeit and should have never been accepted in the first place. Damn, I also got someone fired. I feel terrible now. You okay, Jack? What's up with that look on your face? <laughs> are you nervous? It looks like we found the culprit right here, Jen. Fuck, this is bad. No, I just put my weight on my injured foot and it hurt. Shut up, Chloe. Jack wouldn't do something stupid like that. I know, I'm just fucking with him. Good. Anywho, you said you want me to call you in 30 minutes or something like that? Yeah, if you could, that'd be great. Sure, I can do that. All right, we need to get going now. Give me a call later and let me know what happens or if you need a place to sleep again. Sure thing. Thanks for everything. Talk to you later, Mr. Pervert. Bye, cutie. 
Bitter girls. Yeah, dude. Way to go. You got someone fired. Hey, where did that necklace come from? When we were on the phone, it fell out of Mr. Pervert's pocket. I asked him if I could keep it. He said some girl at college dropped it. He was hanging on to it until he saw her again. He told me to give it back to her if she ever comes asking for it. <laughs> I know you. You're not going to give it back to her, are you? No, no. Since when did you start liking crystals and stuff like that? Today! Plus, it's from Mr. Pervert himself. I'll never forget him now. Hey, you should give it to me then. You would never have met him if it wasn't for me. Nope, oh, he gave it to me. You snooze, you lose. But I'll let you wear it sometimes if you want. Whatever, I don't even care anymore. Keep it. He even called me Crystal earlier. I was destined to have it. Crystal and Crystal, and all makes sense now. <laughs> so that's why she names her daughter Crystal. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Crystal. I kind of like that name. Interesting. So if I hadn't have given her that crystal, would she not? Would the name be different in the future? Interesting. I'm gonna have to place again and see. All right, I can finally start heading towards the power plant. I need to be very careful now. That the cops are most likely looking for me. I still can't believe I did that. Good thing this park is out of view of any roads. It's mostly woods around here. I can use them to get to the power plant. Getting nervous just thinking about it. I want to get the hell out of this place and go home. Please, please, please let this work. All right, time to get out of here. As you start walking out of the park, you see the redhead girl that dropped the necklace. Shit. Right after I gave the necklace to Chloe, she shows up. Just my luck. Hey, come here for a second. Forget it. I'm not interested. You're not my type anyways. Huh? What's with this girl? I just wanted to tell you that you dropped your necklace at college. I gave it to a girl named Chloe who goes there and told her to give it to you if you come asking for it. She was just here. You look back to see if Chloe and Jenny are still around, but they've already long gone. It looks like she already took off. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't even snap at you like that. I've had a terrible day. I didn't want to talk to anyone. Sorry to hear that. I hope your day gets better. Chloe, I think I know who you're talking about. What's her last name? Ooh, I'm not sure if she has the last name as Crystal or not. I don't know her last name. She has black hair, kind of tied up at the bottom, and big boobs. Yeah. Yeah, I know who that is. Well, thanks for picking it up and telling me who has it. I guess not all men are cheating assholes. Where'd you find the necklace? The bathroom? No, I saw you storming out of the college, and that's when you dropped the necklace and then disappeared before I can give it back. I started running once I left the building. I didn't want to be anywhere near that place. I went there to surprise my boyfriend, and what do I find? This motherfucker kissing another girl in the hallway. Can you believe that? Maybe it's for the best that you caught him. Now you can move on with your life. He doesn't deserve you if that's what he's doing behind your back. Yeah, it still hurts though. My name is Scarlet, by the way. My name is Jack. Nice to meet you, Jack. So, Jack, what are you up to today? I was just leaving the park and going back to Winden, and that's when I saw you. How about you? Well, I was going to hang out with my boyfriend until I saw his tongue in another girl's mouth. Ex-boyfriend now. I guess I'm not the only one having a bad day then. Cheers to us then, to shitty days. Cheers. Hey, can you do me a favor before taking off? It'll only take a minute. I need to take off soon. I finally have all the pieces in place to attempt to go back home. What do you want me to do? I just want to take a picture or two with me, just to email him to my asshole boyfriend and give him a taste of his own medicine. I thought you said he was your ex-boyfriend now. He will be after this. I haven't gotten a chance to talk to him yet. I don't want to, so let the pictures do the talking. Does she want a picture of us kissing? I do have to leave, but it only takes about 10 minutes to get to the power plant from here. If it's only a couple minutes, I should be fine. Uh, do we care? Scarlet. I'm trying to remember, like, do we know anybody who's like a redhead like this? My memory sucks. Ah, uh, just do it. Well, she is a beautiful girl and seems pretty nice. Why not help her out? Okay, I'll do it. We can't take too long. I have to be somewhere in 20 minutes. Yay! Don't worry, it'll only take a minute. What do you want me to do? Hold on, let me grab a camera. I don't know why I was expecting her to grab her phone. I guess I didn't have cameras on phones yet. 
At least I haven't seen any phones like that. Okay, we're gonna act like we're kissing. I'm gonna take a picture. Is that cool? Yeah, well, that's fine. Come here and get close to me. Are you ready? Yep. Actually, can you take the picture? You're nice and tall and get a better angle. Yeah, no problem. Just hold down this button for a second or two until you hear a beep. Okay, ready and go. I thought we were supposed to be acting. Camry already beeped and she's still kissing me. Or is it because I'm still kissing her? She is a good kisser. I'll keep going until she pulls away. That was great. Let me see the camera. Yeah, nice. This will work. Let's do one more. This time we need to make it sexier. Sexier? Yeah, I can't just send him the same thing he did to me. I need to go above and beyond. Really show him what he's missing. Sound good? I don't know if I should feel used or not, but that's fine. I'm willing to help a damsel in distress. Complain about that. You enjoyed it then? Well, yeah. I'm a man that gets to kiss a beautiful woman. What's not to enjoy? Oh, stop. You're going to make me blush. I also enjoyed it. You're a great kisser. Wait, didn't you say I'm not your type or something like that? I just said that out of anger. I do like my men muscular and tall, but I'm not too picky. You're not that muscular, but you're nice and tall. I see someone who can handle all of this. I'm not a petite girl, if you hadn't noticed. Ooh, fuck. She sure does have some nice curves. Now, stand behind me for this one. I'm going to rub my body against yours, and you're going to grope me while we kiss. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Alright, ready? Yep. Hold on, I need you to really grope me. Go and grabs your hand and presses it against her breast. Put your hand on my boob and give it a nice rub. Okay. Ready and go! Haha. <laughs> Oh man, this girl's body. I'm starting to get firm, and she's rubbing her butt against me. There's no way she can't feel it. Again, the camera already beeped, and she's still going. Hmm, Jack. Damn, she's really into it. Sorry, got a little carried away. It's fine, I liked it. I can tell, hee <laughs> hee. So, how's it look? Will that one work? Oh yes, this one is the bomb diggity. Bomb diggity? All right, I'm gonna go home and email these to that jerk. I also need to get going. Thank you for your help. These pictures are amazing. It's my pleasure. Would you like to hang out sometime? I would love to, but I'm not from around here. I live in Winden. That's not that far away. Do you have a number I can reach you? Yes, I just bought a phone today. Here, let me see it. I'll program my number in. Let me know if you come to Riverside again. We will kick it. All right, I can do that. It's nice meeting you, Scarlet. It's nice being you too. My day is a little better now, thanks to you. Bye, Jack. Bye, Scarlet. Finally, get to time to get to the power plant. I need to pay attention. The cops may be looking for me. I will just try to stay away from the road and take the path through the woods for as long as possible. <laughs> Poor guy, man. Action, nothing happened. I'm glad to not be assaulted by the foul smell like it was the last time I entered the plant in 2019. Probably because in 2019, the power plant has been shut down for a while and hasn't been serviced. Need to be careful so I don't get noticed by an employee. The power plant is still in use. Actually, I don't need to walk through the power plant if I remember correctly. Just need to crawl through the hidden tunnel over there somewhere in the dark. I wonder if anyone knows about this little tunnel here. It's well hidden, but it doesn't mean that no one has found it. This whole morphing cave thing still boggles my mind. I don't understand it one bit. I was hoping I would never have to come back here, but here I am. Let's hope I have better luck this time around. Okay, finally here. It's finally time to see what my future holds for me. I've never wanted anything so bad. If this does work, will I get stuck in rock again? I can't stop thinking about that. What if it's my head that gets stuck this time and I suffocate? What if no one finds me and I stay missing? I can't even imagine how my family and friends would feel. Fuck, this is terrifying. But there's no way I can stay here. Okay, I need to stop thinking like that. I need to be positive. This will work. That thing has got me here. It should be able to get me back, right? Now that I think about it, this area is the only place that stayed unchanged in both the past and present. 
That's what it looks like, at least. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Hopefully it means it'll be possible to travel back. Take a deep breath, trying to calm yourself. Now I just need to wait for Jenny to call. Ten minutes later. Here we go. Wait, where's the blue glowy thing? No! Fuck, it's not showing up. Maybe I need to answer this call like last time or get closer? Hello? Hey, Mr. Pervert. Jenny? Yep, yep, this is Jenny. Oh, it's not working. <sighs> hey. Jack, what's the matter? I can hear you fine, by the way. That's why you wanted me to call, right? Yeah, everything's fine. Just haven't gotten any closer to going home. Oh, I'm sorry. Just remember, you can always sleep in my garage again if you need to. Thanks, Jenny. You're a kind soul. You're welcome. Thanks, Mr. Pert. Jenny is interrupted by men yelling in the background. Jack, I need to go. My father is bitching about something again. I need to go calm him down. Poor Jenny. I need to go anyways. Thanks for calling. Gotta go. Bye, Mr. Pervert. Bye, Jenny. No! Ah. Just want to go home. Why me? Why do we have to be stuck here? Please, God, please, just let me go home. I promise I'll never come back here again. This is fucking bullshit. Fuck this place. It's ruined my life and the people I care about. Fucking turn on already! Out of anger and frustration, you start picking up rocks and throwing them at the machine. Let. Me. Go. Home. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Huh? You'll never get back home doing that. Do you want to be stuck here forever? What? How does he know I'm stuck here? Who the fuck are you? And how do you know I'm stuck here? That's not important. What's important is that you did what needed to be done and your time here is over. What needed to be done? What does that mean? For fuck's sake, tell me who you are. Are you ready to go back now? Yes. I mean, no, I want answers first. How did this happen? Why'd you say I did what needed to be done? And what about my father? Do you know him? This time, just walk into the portal when it's going blue so you don't repeat what happened last time. Oh shit! What the fuck? Damn it! Give me something! What's all this about? Tell me! Come on, what are you waiting for? Do you want to be stuck in the past forever? This is your last chance! What the fuck am I supposed to do? It's the only thing I've wanted since I got here, but now I understand that there's something bigger at play. This guy won't tell me anything. Is he responsible for everything that's happened here? Or is he trying to help me? I could try attacking him and making him talk. There's a good chance he could kick my ass, then I would be stuck here forever. Plus he has a gun. I guess I don't have a choice. Ugh, fine. Fuck you, asshole. Thinking you're so cool with your little goggles and mask on. You finally decide to step into the portal. Here, catch. My phone. And don't come back to the power plant ever again. That's fucked. <laughs> what the hell? Interesting. Ah, my back? I didn't get stuck inside anything this time. That's a relief. And I got my phone back. I don't see that guy anywhere. I guess there's only one way to find out. Yes, back in the research office. And everything appears the same as before I left. So far, so good. And let's see, we got a new, is that a new contact? Thirsty, Tiffany, Jessica, Shelby, Jackie, Crystal, Alyssa. Alyssa! Yes, Alice, Valerie, Skylar, Daphne, Jimmy. Wow, okay, Scarlet. Interesting. All right, I just want to see, because we had that redhead, right? And everything appeared to look the same as before I left. So far, so good. Take a deep inhale, and then exhale. Ah, uh, never thought I would be so happy to get a big whiff of complete ass. It's creepy and glowing red, just the way it should be. I'm almost out of here, just a little further. Fresh air! Wait, it's daytime? What time did that guy send me to? I thought he was sending me back to the same time I left. Oh, phone explosion. All at once, your phone explodes with notifications. <laughs> yep. Whoa. Your phone says it's the next day, so I've been in the past the same amount of time that has gone by in the present. 
Shit. Tiffany must be freaking out. Yep. I missed calls from her and several other people, along with a shitload of text messages. There's also a voicemail from her. Better listen to that first. Jack, where are you at? I went to your room to make sure you were up and you were nowhere to be found. So I thought maybe you got up early and left for school before I got up. Then I found out you weren't at school, and Darcy said she hasn't seen or talked to you since last night. You need to call me as soon as possible, because I'm starting to get really worried, and I'm about to call the police. Call me as soon as you hear this. I hope you're safe. I love you. Bye. Oh no, I need to call her right now. I need to think of a convincing lie. There's no way she would believe me if I told her the truth. Maybe I'll just tell her I had a bad night because of a nightmare about Dad. I didn't want to go to school, so I decided to go for a walk to clear my head. I didn't call her until now because my phone stopped working? Huh. Maybe I could say I dropped it and it stopped working for a couple hours. I don't know. I was never the best liar. Although, I seem to be getting better with all the lies I've had to tell lately. I guess that story will have to work. It's partially true. The nightmare is real. I did drop my phone somewhere. I have no idea what happened to my phone. How'd that guy find it anyway? I looked everywhere. Better hurry up and call her. Jack? Tiffany, it's me. I'm fine. Oh, thank God. You're okay. I was so worried about you. I even called the police, but they wouldn't do anything because the person missing has to be gone for at least 24 hours before they file a missing persons report. Why didn't you go to school? And why didn't you tell me you weren't going? I'm really sorry I didn't call you. I dropped my phone and it stopped working for a while. I had a terrible nightmare about Dad that put me in a sour mood. I didn't want to go to school today, so I decided to go out and take a long walk in the woods to try and clear my mind. I didn't want to wake you this morning because I left very early, and by the time you were up, my phone stopped working. I hope she buys that. I hate lying to her, but there's no way she would believe the truth. Oh, Jack, I'm sorry to hear you're still having nightmares about your father. I wish there was something I could do to help. I don't care what time it is, sleeping or not, I'm always here for you if you need to tell me something or just want to talk. Okay? Okay, I'll remember that. I'm just glad you're safe. I'm so worried about you. We can talk later when I come home for work. If it's, it's, But it's fine if you don't want to. Oh, it's okay. We can talk later. Okay, good. Where are you at right now? I'm just walking around. I'm over by Echoes Hill. Can you do me a favor and go to Seeger's and pick up something for me? Miss Seeger has said that she's closing the store early today. And I can't make it over there in time to pick up my order. It's alright if you don't feel comfortable going into a store like that, but I would really appreciate it. It's not the woman's clothing store. Why would I care about that? Sure, I could do that. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't mind. Thanks, sweetheart. I wonder if I prevented Jenny from working at the power plant. But how am I supposed to go about asking her if she's alive or not? Don't know how to ask that. Tiffany, about Jenny. Oh, sorry, Jack. I have to go back to work right now. I know you love her and miss her dearly, but we could talk about her tonight if you want, okay? No, how'd that not work? That for sure discouraged her from wanting to work there. Okay, Tiffany. All right, gotta go. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. And I was hoping Jenny would be alive. I think she is. I think she's on vacation or something. That's my guess. She was such an awesome person to be around. I already miss hanging out with her. I guess things can't be changed. Let's check out these other messages on my phone. All right, let's check out from Darcy first. Hey, dickhead, why the fuck aren't you answering my calls? And then when you finally do, I hear some crazy noise and you hang up? Okay, sorry for calling you a dickhead. It's late now, so you're probably sleeping. I just want to know if I can come over tomorrow morning and we can walk to school again. I take it back. You're still a dickhead, because you still haven't gotten a hold of me. A great big six foot tall dick with a tiny head, short arms, and little feet. Tiffany just called and said she doesn't know where you're at. I'm sorry again for calling you a dickhead. Please respond and let me know you're okay. I'm starting to freak out. Shit. Darcy's also worried about me. I need to tell her I'm fine. Sorry for worrying you. Don't worry, I am fine. I dropped my phone, and it stopped working for a while. I had a bad night and didn't want to go to school today. Oh my god, Jack! You had me so worried. I'm so glad you're okay. My mind started thinking about all the things that could happen to you. I want to see you after school gets out. Yeah, me too. I'm not home right now, but I will get a hold of you when I get home, okay? Okay, but if you don't, you're a dickhead again. I mean it this time. Don't worry, I will. Talk to you soon. Crystal? Hey Jack, I see you're not at school today. 
I hope everything's fine. I wanted to see you tonight, but I have to go to a family dinner. And then I have to go to Daphne's place. Maybe tomorrow? Yeah, everything is fine. Tomorrow sounds good to me. Jessica? My mom said that you left for school early this morning. Too bad. I wanted to talk to you before you left. Come talk to me when you get home. Now she's saying you're not at school, and no one has seen you since last night. Where are you at? I'm starting to get really worried. Please tell me you're okay. You're about to call the cops. I'm freaking out. I've been driving around looking for you. Jack, please don't leave me like my dad did. I need you in my life. I'm sorry for all the times I was a bitch to you. I just called Darcy and apologized. We talked for a while, and she's not as bad as I thought. We are both worried sick. Please tell me you're okay. I love you. Wow. That's... Wow. Oh, fuck. She is freaking out. She thinks I'm going to leave her like her father did? Extremely sad. I need to call her. hey -o. I can't make it to the phone right now. Please leave a message. Hey, Jessica. This is Jack. Don't worry. I'm fine. I'm really, really sorry that I had you so worried. I dropped my phone and stopped working for a while. I'll talk to you when I get home. I'm out walking around right now. I'll see you soon. Bye. Looks like her phone is off. It goes straight to voicemail. I hope she hears my voicemail soon or talks to Tiffany. I don't want her to worry. And where am I thinking? Oh, there it is. Skylar. Hey there, Jack. Just want to tell you I had a great time hanging out with you last night. I would love to do it again sometime. Sadly, I have college today and then I have to go straight to work. But you can always hang out with me during my break if you want. Hey, you should call Jessica. She is freaking out and saying you're nowhere to be found. I hope everything is okay. Looks like Skylar is worried about me too. I better message her back and let her know I'm okay. Maybe I could see her while she's on her break after I pick up Tiffany's order. Hey Skylar, everything's fine. Just having phone trouble and no one can get a hold of me. I'm getting ready to head into town soon if you still want to want me to visit you on your break. Not what sure time you work, but just let me know. I don't think she told me where she works. It would be cool to see her again, though. Beep. There he is. Oh boy, Jessica's been freaking out. She called me crying about an hour ago. Crying? I just saw her text messages and tried to call her, but went straight to voicemail. I left her a message, so she should see it soon. Huh, maybe her phone died or something. She should be at home right now, so I don't know why she wouldn't be charging it. Who knows? Just be ready when he's here. I don't know if she's going to yell at you or hug you. It's always a toss-up with her. Wow, I feel bad I worried her so much. Oh, she'll be fine. I'm just glad you're okay. I told her you're probably just skipping school and hanging with friends. Then she started coming up with all these crazy ideas about you running away or getting kidnapped. I would never run away. I know, that's what I told her. Anyways, I have some customers coming in. Stop by whenever. Wait, you never told me where you work at. I work at the Blues Bakery across the street from Dr. Jones. That's the bakery that recently opened up. I know where that's at. Done reading texts. Well, for better or worse, it looks like everything as it should be. I'm finally back. Fuck yeah! And that is a great place to leave it for today. All that air. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. Interesting little segment of this game. Definitely interesting. Was not expecting it. I'm really curious to see what's changed now. Uh, we didn't do too much, but just our presence alone should have changed something. So we'll see in the next one. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.